improvement from last week? Yeah, massive improvement. Um, it's probably in all areas. We've still got a lot to work on there before we play Fiji next week, but it's a lot, um, be a lot happier dressing room today than it was last week. Was that given the you know, off-field drama that you guys did have, were you a bit concerned about how the guys might, might turn out when the game started? Nah, not really, because of the way they trained the last three sessions. They've, you know, they moved on from that pretty quickly, and um, the way they've trained the last three sessions gave me some real confidence going into today. But you know, obviously after a tough loss last week, you, you're always a bit uneasy about how it's going to go the week after. So for them to turn it around is a big credit to the players out there today and the whole squad who um, contributed to today's win. This is important, I guess, overall for the confidence of the, the group after last week. Yeah, everyone was pretty shattered with. You know the result last week, we, but we know we ran into a really strong Irish team. Um, so yeah, it is. It's really good for the confidence um, to get today's result. But you know we've given ourselves a chance now to get back into the tournament, and hopefully um, we've got a chance next week by the time we run on against Fiji. Will Campo get his homecoming next week? Yeah, I hope so. You know he's um, he was pretty close to playing today again. So hopefully. Um, you know, we can we can rehab him up and get him out there. It would be a really special occasion if he can get out there and play for us next weekend. Did you like what James did at six, though? Yeah, I thought he was really good. I thought, um, you know, the the pressure on him would have been to go out there in that first 20 minutes and try and, to, try and be too creative or take all the pressure on his own shoulders, but I thought he was really patient when he got out there. He was um, really calm. Uh, he had some really classy touches, and we sort of knew that was going to happen by the way he trained during the week. He was... He slotted straight in there, so for him to do that um, just shows what a class player he is. Mark, what did you have to fix this week as a team? Oh, look, we, we we fixed up our start this week, um, which was a lot better than it was last week. We, we still got to work on uh, our completions for next week. Um, you know, we we dropped far too much ball, and um, you know, if we do that against Fiji, then uh, you know that's not going to work in our favour. So um, you know, we're going to fix up. Um, you know, that first and foremost, and um, you know, I thought it defensively we were, were a lot better than we were last week. Um, so you know, if we can keep working on that, um, you know, it's going to be a good, good clash. Do you go straight into scouting mode now and watch the next game? Or <laughs> no, I think we're just going to enjoy the moment, mate. After yeah. you know losing last week and and um, tough few days, we're just going to enjoy this moment when we get back in the sheds, and you know, hopefully we can get back and watch it on TV and and you know, see where we sit at the end of the 80 minutes. The team played like. They they enjoyed themselves. Did you feel like that? Yeah. Look, we um we're enjoying each other's company. There's no doubt about that. We we've 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 got together and become really close in the in the last few weeks. And um you know you always enjoy yourself when you when you're scoring tries. And you know it's um you know it's good to see that um, some young blokes are playing well and enjoying enjoying themselves and got plenty of energy. Um, yeah. So it was it was enjoyable out there. Okay, man, what, what did you think of Joey uh, Clementine's performance? Oh, I thought he was outstanding. You know, he's, he'd be close to one of the best players on the field today, and not just because he scored a few tries, just because of his effort. Um, you know, for a little guy there, he's, his effort's unquestionable, whether it's a training every day or in the gym or, or when he gets out on the field. He's just one of those guys you love coaching, and I was really happy for him today to get a start and um, you know play the way he did. Are you aware that Italy became like a full member of the Federation this week? What does that mean to everybody involved? It means it's a good reward for a lot of hard work that's gone in for a number of years. Um, you know, it's something we've been working towards as a Federation for quite a, quite a while now. So for the guys um, back in Italy on the ground, they're doing all the hard work. It's a really good recognition of what they're doing back there. And, um, you know, hopefully gives us a bit, a bit more opportunity now to develop rugby league in Italy. Mark, just how pleased were you with, with James and the way he's able to put the off-field drama aside and, and just focus on footy? Yeah, re real, really pleased for him. Um, you know, there's, there's no doubt and it was uh, you know, disappointing um, you know, what happened early in the week or late last week. And, uh, you know, he, he, he moved past that and the whole squad did now. We're, we're a united group now and, um, you know, he, he got out there and just went about his business. Uh, he, he's a class player and, um, you know, to, to move from fullback into into uh, the five-eight role and play like he did, I thought was um, you know credit to him, and um, yeah, I'm really pleased uh, not only for him but for for the rest of the team. Any injury concerns, Kevin? No, I think they're pretty good today. They, you know, no one really had to come off um, injured or anything. They, you know, we had a few bumps and bruises early in the week, so they look like they're in a lot better shape than they were this time last week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.